In Clearview Regional High School, many seniors have enrolled in AP Art Studio for their fourth year in the art program. They need to work hard to complete work, prepare for college, and improve their portfolios. These portfolios are shared at an end of the year event called Senior Spotlight. Um, Senior Spotlight is just a really good way to like recognize everyone's talents, you know, um, especially in the visual arts, all the, um, you know, all the artists from like that are seniors. It's a great opportunity for them to showcase um, everything from Art One to AP Studio Art, and it's just a really cool time. AP Art, it's senior year, so there's not very many people in the class, and it's like kind of like an open studio type thing. So people are doing all different sorts of things, and it's really interesting to see everyone doing all the different things together and we all like feed off of each other's creative juices and everything so it's really cool to have everyone being able to do whatever they want in the same place. Concentrations are like it's your own idea and you make 12 pieces in AP so mine is like you know portraits and whatnot and everyone else has different ideas and they it's just a common theme of like concentration I guess is 12 pieces with a theme to it and you can do anything really with that and I just think that's really awesome because you get to see everyone's style and you know unique like perspective on art so. A huge part of the class is balancing the workload between their assignments and their concentrations. Um, right now I'm working on a charcoal drawing that's very big. I don't actually know the dimensions of it, but it's huge and it's a self-portrait and it's pretty um, Well, alright. Well, I'm working on my concentration right now and that's like, it's called the consequences of estrangement and I think what I'm going to do is my friends have volunteered to drown in a tub for me, so that'll be interesting to, you know, shoot and take, you know, paintings of, because, you know, painting water is really interesting, so I want to, like, kind of learn a little bit more and expand, you know, my uh, painting skills. My concentration is um, horror portraiture, so I'm just doing, like, portraits of, like, my friends and stuff, but, like, with horror in it, but, like, kind of, like, funny, like, trying to make it funny, but... <laughs> I'm really just excited about doing the concentrations because it's my own idea and I get to do it any way I want to. And it's going to be like kind of like a comparison between technology and nature. And I'm kind of just going to incorporate both of them into like different pieces. Uh, my concentration, I am, well, I'm expanding on my concentration from last year, which was my dog. And so this year I'm doing like original creatures or characters with my dog like reacting to those things. So um, I'm currently working on a um, a self portrait for my portfolio, and because I'm going to plan on going to art school, so that's like one of the requirements, and it's also doubling as a concentration in estrangement. So I decided to use blues and you know get that kind of tone to it. Several of the dedicated students of the AP Art course plan to continue learning about art after graduating. Um, I'm applying to Arcadia for medical illustration, which is like textbook illustrations. So technically it's not an art school, but like I'm, I would go there for like some type of art thing. Yeah, I actually applied to one already, uh, Ringling College of Art and Design. Students in this class are very dedicated, often going above and beyond inside and outside of the classroom to create amazing works of art. I actually just um, made a mask at home and made it look as creepy as I could because I wanted mine to be more creepy. Everyone else was doing these like really funny ones, so I was figured, oh, let me do something different and I'll make it really scary looking. So I made this creepy mask at home and I just covered half my face with it and that's what I'm doing. This class is like my highlight of my day, you know, it's great coming in second period and just, you know, it's, it's very much open, Weaver's like very open to ideas and you get to elaborate on your own style and reflect and it's all about really like keeping, you know, keeping yourself in your work and I just think that's a wonderful thing, like you just maybe for like the entire period you kind of, you kind of assign something and it's, the time is yours to work on it. Um, it's really fun because like we're all kind of just like talking with each other and we're all like kind of like close now because like you know 
there's not that many of us in the class. And you know, we're all close to Mr. Weaver, so we all kind of like hang out with him while we do our art projects. It's fun. Well, the class is interesting because there's not really that many people in there, so we get in the really interesting conversations that really are just funny. And there's not really much else to it. Nothing really surprising happens, it's just art. It's just a bunch of funny people. <laughs> We're just starting a project on, um, it's kind of interesting. We've never done something like this before. We got, um, like the entire art class went out and got tennis balls and threw them at like an individual and you had to, you know, duck and be all dramatic about it. And um, other students took pictures. And so now we're working on those pieces of us like kind of dodging them and it's it's big charcoal piece and it looks really cool. So I'm excited. These four students will continue to expand their skills after graduating and will hopefully continue to pursue their passion long after college. This has been Mason Grosset and Harveer Singh reporting for the Clearview Regional Media Program.